Hi everyone, today we are going to see the topic vector space. In order to understand vector space, first of all we have to know what are groups. Let's see that. And the definition for groups goes like this. Consider a set G and an operation star such that G cross G gives G defined on set G. Then G star is called a group if the following properties are satisfied. So here G cross G is the partition product. When we apply this operation on any two elements uh, in G, the result will also be a part of the, the set G. That is the meaning of the statement. And what are the properties to be satisfied? There are four properties. First one is closure of G under star, then associativity, neutral element, and inverse element. These are the four properties to be satisfied to say that a set and an operation are groups. Now, we can see the properties one by one. The closure of G under uh, the star operation. The star can be anything. It can be plus, uh, multiplication, division or any operation. And general uh, notation is like this. And uh, what the definition says that for all x, y belonging to G, if we apply x cross uh, x star y, the answer will also belong to G. Okay, so consider uh, G is the set of integers. We can represent it as Z. And the operation is plus. That is addition. Okay, so we have taken the set of integers and the operation as addition. And let us find out whether this closure satisfies there. When we add two integers, the result will be another integer. So, the result also belongs to the set of integers. So, the closure property is satisfied there. Uh, for example, if we take x equal to 2 and y equal to 3, x plus, 5, x plus y is equal to 5, that belongs to the set of integers. So, the closure, we can say that the closure property is satisfied by the group z plus. Now, uh, the other property is associate. And what associativity says for all x, y, z belonging to G, if we do the operation like this, if we apply the star operator on these three uh, variables x star y and the answer is again start with z the answer will be is equal to x star y star z so there is an associative property with this so let's take the example and uh, let us take g as the set of integers like this we take the integers 2 3 and 5 when we do these two operations to plus 3 plus 5 or 2 plus 3 plus 5 both the thing will give you the same answer so we can say that the group of uh, z group z plus gives you the associative property so we can see that say that this is a group now uh, the third one is neutral element. In a group, there should be a neutral element such that there exists E. E is the neutral element. E belongs to G, such G. For all X belongs to G, X star E is equal to X and E star X is equal to X. That means that when we use this neutral operand uh, with our operator, the answer will be the same as that of the value. For example, when you take the uh, integer set, set of integers z, the neutral element can be taken as 0. We can take it, the neutral element as 0. Why? Because if the x value is 3 and when we add 3, uh, with the 0, the answer is 3 itself. And if we do the 
uh, reverse way 0 plus 3 again the answer is 3 so we can see that 0 is a neutral element in uh, in the group z plus okay so in this group there is a neutral element then the last one is inverse of an element if there is an element in the set that there should be the inverse for the same in the same set for all x in g there exists a y belongs to g such that x star y is equal to e and y star x equal to e okay then x star x should be uh, sorry x star x inverse should be e and x inverse star x should be is equal to e okay so here in this case this x and y are inverse of each other so i can say that y is the inverse of x and uh, x is the inverse of y for example uh, here this e is the neutral element so let's take an example z plus the group z plus the neutral element is zero and uh, um, uh, suppose uh, if three x is equal to three then x inverse um, remember here the operation is plus so the operation is plus so the inverse will be taken in a different way such that if we have to find out x plus x inverse should be equal to the neutral element zero since three x is three then uh, which element should be x inverse it should be minus three to get the answer as zero so x inverse is minus three okay so this x inverse has different meaning when we use different operators it is very important to note down now uh, x plus x inverse is equal to the zero, zero uh, x inverse plus x is also will give you zero so and uh, uh, this minus three also belonging to the set of integers so we can say that there exist inverse for every element in the set z so the three the four uh, properties are satisfied by the group or uh, group z plus uh, or the set and plus operator so that we can say that it is a group then uh, next one is abelian group uh, we can call a group as abelian group when it satisfies one more condition that is commutative property g star if g star is commutative then the group is called abelian group that means that g star should be a group that means it should have the four properties closure property associativity neutral existence of neutral element and existence of inverse in addition to that it should be commutative also then we can call it as an abelian group and uh, what is commutativity if for or uh, for all x uh, and y belongs to g x star y equal to y star x then we can say that g star the group g star is an abelian group that means I can uh, uh, change the order of the operands. Still, it gives me the correct uh, same answer. Then this is an abelian group, or it, it, it has commutative property. Again, take the same example set of integers and uh, addition operation. Uh, let's take x equal to three and y equal to five. Find the addition of three and five in uh, two different ways x plus y as well as y plus x both the ans both the operations gives you the same answer as 8 so the commutative property x is there so i can say that this group is an abelian group then take another example is that dot dot or uh, we can say that it is multiplication is it a set of uh, integers with the multiplication operation it is not a group so let's check why it is not a group let's check for the um, properties four properties first property is closure 
what closure says that if I uh, if I multiply since the operator is multiplication if I add two operators uh, two operands or two elements in z the answer should also be in z suppose x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 5 I find I find the multiplication of these two variables x y it will give you 3 into 5 15 and 15 belongs to z and same is the case for any integer values so closure one uh, holds here then second one is associativity so let's take the example x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 and z equal to 5 and try to uh, multiply it in different ways x into y into z and x into y into z and both the operation will give you the same answer 30 and 30 and it's uh, it holds for all the kind of integers so associativity is also there for the set z with the multiplication operator then the third property is there should be a neutral element and which one should be the neutral element what is the property of neutral element we can when we uh, multiply this element with any is element in the set it should result in the same element so assume for multiplication neutral element is 1 so we take e is equal to 1 and assume x equal to 3 and we multiply it with e we get the same value 3 into 1 is equal to 1 into 3 which is equal to 3 so neutral element is also existing there then the next point is next property is inverse of integers so let's take x equal to 10 and what will be the inverse of x here the multiplication operation there so uh, inverse of x will be 1 by 10 which is equal to 0 0.1 that does not belong to the integer set that means that for the integer 10 there is no inverse exist in the set z and same is the case for many other integers or all the integers in the is set z so since the inverse is not existing we cannot say that this set uh, z and star operation will not form a group okay this is not a group so we cannot say that this this is a group why because there uh, there is no inverse existing for the elements in z inverse does not belong to z so inverse property does not hold and so this is not a group another example with the matrices matrices r uh, m by n over plus is an abelian group and we can check it satisfies all these conditions when we uh, the closure property stands there because when we add two matrices of size m by n and m by n the result will also be in m by n so and that is also belonging to r okay so that first property satisfies then matrix addition is associative that we already know and the neutral element uh, here is uh, zero matrix all the elements are zero that kind of matrix is called neutral element in this case since the uh, operation is addition then the inverse and uh, there can there will be inverse uh, for the um, for the matrices and uh, this commutative these are all satisfied only based on the dimension of the matrices so we can say that uh, this is a group and um, uh, it is commutative also commutative since it is addition uh, uh, one more clarification is required there this inverse is not the uh, matrix inverse that we have studied since this is a plus operation the inverse will be um, a different one suppose your matrix is uh, like this 1 2 3 and its inverse will be minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 okay 
so this also belongs to uh, r uh, uh, r3 by n or whatever okay whatever it this the dimension the same holds here also and the commutative property means um, if i add one matrix with the other one the result will be similar to or same as b plus a so commutative property is also there since these four five five properties are satisfied we can say that it is an abelian group okay so this is abelian since this is a plus operation the next example is for uh, m by n dot is a group so you can check it on yourself for uh, all the four properties uh, like this uh, multiplication of two matrices and matrix uh, matrix multiplication is associative or not and the neutral element is there or inverse is there these things you can check and find out whether it is a group and uh, this kind of uh, groups are called the general linear group it's a generalized form of a linear group r to the power uh, r m by n that means it is uh, a matrix with m rows and n columns and all the elements are belonging to the real numbers and a set of regular um, there is a close there it is invertible set of invertible matrices a belongs to R M by N is a group with respect to matrix multiplication and it is called the general linear group or the representation is like G L N R G L N R okay and check whether is, is it an abelian group r m by n is an abelian group or not and it is actually uh, n by n it's not m by n it is n by n is it an abelian group you, this is uh, for you to as an exercise okay that's all about the groups next we have to see what are vector space